Louis DeJoy must go. 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 Thank you. I'm not sure, as I'm not a public speaker, that I, I, I can make much sense of this, but I should try. You know, the Postal Service provides a service. A service. It is not a business. It's not supposed to be making a profit, such as my, my printing business. And I think it's important that anyone who runs the, the operation, such as I did, recognizes that the service is ultimately the most important thing that it can do. And if it cannot do that, it has failed to live up to, to the nature of the requirement, the requirement set out in the, the, the Constitution, which I signed, which of course is the responsibility of Congress to look after and maintain, and us. But it, it's important that we that we, we look after the service of the post operation. If we don't, we have failed the, the, the men who are working as carriers and sorters. We, for that matter, are failing the horses who are carrying the men and the mail. My word, we should not allow that. And if we don't have someone in this organization who is, in fact, recognizing the need for the service, I think it's possibly the time to change that person and get someone new. Yeah. Yes. Indeed. I do appreciate again the time to, to speak to you. Thank you very much. I, sh I think I have said all I can say. How many of you, two years ago, before this whole Michigas started, actually knew that the U.S. had a Postmaster General? Oh, we got, we got another couple hands, and Benjamin Franklin, of course as our first do it. But uh, I want you to think about just how remarkable, how amazing Louis DeJoy is. Nobody knew we had a Postmaster General. And this shifty, dishonest, corrupt character is so widely loathed by the people of this country that a political cartoonist can just draw a sketch of him and maybe write DeJoy on it, but they don't have to write Postmaster General DeJoy or anything. We're ha still involved in having consolidations going on across the country where they are taking out machines that handle first class mail. First class mail ballots, voting ballots is first class mail and machines are being taken out of facilities and they are changing our network and cutting our network down so that it becomes just a business of parcels and packages. That is not what the Postal Service is here for. So many of people around the country are very concerned about this and we're just trying to spread the message to get people involved, communities involved in saving their post offices and to make sure that we are a service organization that we're what we became way back when in the 1970s when we were talking about a service obligation to be able to provide good service we can't have a democracy if we can if we if if our votes are not going to count this and there's going to be so many elections probably in 2022 that are going to be decided on very very slim margins and every vote should count every vote should count. And in order for this to happen, we need a functional post office that delivers mail on time, that there's no slowdowns, um, that where, regardless of where you live, you can use it equitably. And I am very concerned that this is not going to happen in the 2022 midterms. And I am really terrified that we're heading into this with a postmaster who is actively trying to dismantle the post office. I strongly believe that the problem is going to get worse um, unless we remove DeJoy from office. We need a postmaster that supports the post office. I mean, one should support the institution that they work for. They, we, we, that 
has the public's trust and is competent. And I do not think that Louis DeJoy is any of these things. And I think that the Postal, Postal Board of Governors needs to take a principled stance and put someone in, in that office who is competent, trustworthy, and has the and it has the post, postal post office's best interest at heart and the American people's best interest at heart, not his own profit.